and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. And I'm going to kit up the last of my little mini diamond paintings. So, first things first, I do need a container, which I haven't got out, but I do have quite a few of these 28 box containers. Um, I do like them for small paintings. They're compact, they just fit next to me on the table, or when I'm working on it, they'll actually fit on the table with the diamond painting. Um, so I have used these a lot for these paintings. So, let's get out my inventory sheet and diamonds. And they're stored in, or when I, when I have enough, um, I store them all in these baggies. Um, they are A5. You can find them on Amazon or in stationery shops, um, but I find they're great for keeping hold of an inventory sheet and diamonds. It just keeps everything safe and together, and they're really sturdy. So you can just reuse lots and lots. Okay, so this painting has 20 colours, and I have two colours that have more than four bags. Now, the reason I'm making note of that is you can fit four bags in one square on these diamonds in these containers. Um, but if you have more than that, you're left with overflow. Now, there is 28 containers in here, so I have plenty of space to put the extras, but I do need to make note of that so that I'm aware when it comes to kitting that part up. So first thing I'm going to do is, as I've done with most of the others, is I, I say my trimmer still needs a new blade. Um, I'm going to cut out the picture so that I know what diamonds go with this one. So what I do is I lift up a few of these pots at the beginning and I just slip in the picture upside down so that if I turn the pot over, I know what it is. I could lay it on the top or stick it on the top, but then I'd have to deal with the residue and stuff. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to use a piece of the scrap paper that's just been cut off and I'm going to make note of these two. So 154 is the number that I have five bags of and 939 I have seven of. All the others are lower than four, so that's fine. And the reason I'm making note is because I'm going to use my inventory sheet to create to create stickers for my storage. So I was about to cut the numbers off. So there we go. So let's get rid of those extra bits now. We no longer need them. I don't need my trimmer anymore. So I'm going to use these to make stickers for my containers. Now they do have 5200 at the top and that's because the DMC code for it is B5200. So I need to make sure that I include that one. I'm going to trim those right down so that all I have now is what I want to make into a sticker. And I'm going to use my little mini Xyron sticker maker um, that a lovely subscriber sent to me and it has been well used ever since. I'm going to feed that through so that I, you know, don't waste as much as I can. You can feed two things through. So if you, maybe your inventory sheet doesn't, um, isn't as close together so that you can fit it on one sticker and you cut them as two separate, you can put them through as two, um, but I can't fit two rows of these into here, it's too wide, so that's why I've only got one. So, we'll take off this top coating that's taking off any excess glue, apart from, of course, the glue that is stuck behind my piece of paper, and it's ripped, so it's gonna cause me a problem for the first time ever. Do you know what, I'm going to leave it there because I don't think it's getting in the way of my stickers. Um, and then I'm going to chop through 
my stickers so that I've got them as each as individual strips. I'm not chopping all the way through my sticker paper. I'm just chopping through my piece of inventory sheet. And that means that they don't all fall about and end up being all over the desk. Keeps them together. So we'll chop through all 20 of these. And then I am gonna kit this one up Hmm. So there's two different ways I could kit this up. Now, because my containers, because the 28 container set are in strips of four, I do need to make the decision before I kit up because it's not like I can move them about unless I move the whole strip of four. So I have two options. I can either kit them up in the DMC number order or I can kit them up according to the symbol. Now, if I do it in DMC number order, it's a lot easier when I'm de-kitting. However, I then have to hunt for the symbols. So we've got six and then five and then seven. We've got nine all the way up here. Um, or I can kit them in order of the numbers and the letters so that when I'm hunting for them, they make sense. I've been doing it a bit of both. Um, I am going to do it in the symbol order this time. I will probably regret it when it comes to de-kitting. <laughs> um, but I'm going to do it now because it's, it's a way of showing different. So I'm going to do the alphabet first. So I do have an A. So that's going to go on my first box. Do I have a B? This is where you do have to do a little bit of a hunt. No B. No C. No D, no E, I have an F. Now what I'm also doing is I am keeping an eye out for it being any of these symbols that I have more than four bags of because I can only fit four in here. And I don't want to create another sticker for the spares. I'll show you what I do when I come up to one. So we've got F, have we got any G? No, H, we've got a H. So H is number 647. Have we got an I? We do. So an, oh, this isn't going to work, is it? So we've got I is 939, and that is one that I have more bags of. It would have been much nicer if that would have ended with a pot next to it, but it hasn't. So that's going to be my spare 939s. And then I'm going to go J. So that will be 939s. J. K. L. We've got a little run then. Okay, so that's J, K, L. And then have we got an M? No, N, no, O, no, we've got a P. P, Q, no, they're all later. R, S, so we've got S. Now, S is the other one that I have more than four bags of, so I'm going to leave a gap. So, S, T, we've got U. So I'm not going to forget, leave a gap and then have U. Then we've got V. V. W. And we've just got X and Y at the bottom. So X and Y, if I can get hold of it. It's tucked under that sheet of paper that wouldn't come off before. Oh, that wasn't even stuck on the container. Let's try that again. Why? Now, what I could do is just continue on. In fact, yeah, I'll continue on with the numbers. So we've got no number one. I'll go for number two. Two. We've got a three. 
So now when I'm hunting for the symbol off the chart, it will be a lot easier. And then we've got five, six, seven, and then eight and nine. Now, I could, and what I did debate about whether I was going to do or not, um, was start the numbers on a completely different row. Um, but I actually thought there was eight numbers, and if I'd have done that, I'd have ended up with one over here, but it didn't end up working out that way. Ah well. Okay, so I don't need my piece of paper telling me the extra numbers now, because I've already made sure that I've left gaps for those. So I'm going to start from the top, and I'm just going to do them in order. Um, sometimes I will, you know, pick the number from the top and then find the pot to put them in. Other times I will do it in an order like I am doing with this. Um, I'm quite familiar with most colours and shades of DMC numbers. Um, on a small painting, I don't really mind going hunting for the right, you know, the right colour because I've not got many to look through. Um, on a bigger painting, I would probably do it the other way. I would probably go by the number um, and then make make that work for me. So 939 is one of the ones I have a lot of. So I have a big bag that is equivalent to five small bags. And I can only fit about four in these. So I've sort of tipped it until it's comfortably full in that one and then tip the rest in here. I've got an 814 that escaped. And then I do have two extra bags of this as well. So let's see if I can get them both open at the same time. I've got another escapee diamond. And no, I only got one to open because I didn't cut it far enough. These are quite full, these diamonds, to be fair. There we go, get my escapees. So that one will follow on. And you know, if you work in the same way all the time, knowing that any spares follow on from the symbol to the left, then you'll be fine doing it that way. Um, if in doubt, I could have put a sticky label on it and put the number on it. Um, or I could have even left some of the bags. I mean, it, it doesn't work as well when you're opening a big bag. But if it was small bags, I could have just left some of them near me to top it up as and when it ran out. But I say, it is only a small painting. So... I know that I'm going to get all the diamonds to fit in this 28 pot, so I may as well just do it now. And then all these little, all these little plastic bags and all their little pieces are all gone and out of the way and put in the bin and tidied up. Because I do have a little pot that I use for rubbish that sits next to me. Um, I did just used to use, you know, part of my storage container. See, look, I've got another escapee. Um, I did just used to use one of these empty pots to hold any rubbish. Um, but I'm a bit lazy. And they'd, you know, I'd go to put it into the pot and I'd miss because I was just flicking it off the end of my diamond painting pen. Um, and I'd miss and then I'd make a mess. So I've changed what I use. I actually use one of these IKEA tubs now. I have one in the front room and one in here. Um, and I can just launch the diamond in it. And then if I do need to open any packets, so for example, if I was opening these, I could just throw them in there as well. Um, and it'll hold either. Okay, so this is another color that I have more than four of. So in this case, I have five. So I know these pots will hold four. So we'll put four bags in one of them. The main one with the main label. 
at the moment i'm just throwing all my packaging in a box that i got a delivery in and then i'm going to open these last two separately just because I'm not doing very well with opening two today and the pot's getting fuller. So I'm going to put four into the main container because that's the one with my label on. So one escaped and then I'm going to put the other one in the empty one next to it. I'll end up using that up first before I then start working on this just the way I like to work. Okay, so 9.50. So a lot of these colours we do only have one of, which makes kitting up very easy. And then we have B, 5200, uh, 3865, that's sort of an off-white with escapees. And then we've actually got another very light colour, which is 3866. It's like a very light peach. Before we get to the colours that you'd more think of for Mickey, which is a bit more of a hot pink. Or mini, sorry, not Mickey. It's mini. Okay, so we've only got six more to go. So 718, again, it's another shade of pink. It's a very pink painting, this one, but I think it'll look good when it's finished. You'll see when I show you all the paintings that I've finished in the smallest sizes that I could find on Home Fun. So I just went for the small size on a variety of images. If you do want to know what sort of images can work, with small paintings. Okay, these bags are quite full, so I'm gonna do them separate rather than cause a mess. The vacuum ceiling on them is quite good, so there was no real space to chop the top off easy. Not off two of them anyway. Come on. A couple that didn't want to come out. Okay, 3801, another variety of red or pink. Oh, this is why I should do it over a tray. If you're a smart person, do it over a tray. If you're like me, don't. Okay, see, and again. It's like I'm trying to teach myself a lesson. Okay, 3031, so we've got some brown. Did we have 310 in this? Oh, we don't, do we? The darkest colour we have in this is 939, I think, or 3031, is quite dark as well. And then last but not least, we've got 169. Now, with all these diamonds, I had already checked off um, whether I got them all from the manufacturer. Um, but that's now kitted up, so any that don't have a label, it's the pot before it. So that one is belongs to that, and 939 belongs to that one. But that's all kitted up with the image so that I know which one it is. Now, to prep my canvas, what I have been doing on some of these is I've actually been taking the whole of the cover sheet off. Um, now, these paintings were immaculate when I got them, um, but you do tend to find you can get the odd little bubble in the um, diamond paintings that come with double-sided tape. Um, I think that's the only one I can see, actually. Oh, no, maybe there is one there. Um, I like to use these little straighteners to get it out. You could use a credit card, gift card, something like that, keep one of those handy. Um, I just tend to like putting a straightener tool on the end of my pens and I just squeeze the air out. It's just where the tape's lifted as I've been peeling the cover on and off. Um, so that's the canvas prepped. If, it, if you find that your bubble's in the middle or causing a problem, um, just get a craft knife and just score it. 
um, that allows you to give space for the air to escape so that when you do scrape it down the air has got somewhere to go but I have liked using um, these sort of protective cover sheets um, for covering my diamond paintings so they come in like about six by four inches but I actually prefer working on half that size um, I find that this isn't I mean I may get you know two or three of these done in an evening um, but I find they're a nice bite size piece so I'm going to cover up the painting with this and I've worked out on these 15 by 20s it is three going up now I have to see if I've left too much gap at the bottom um, if I can get it to line up properly uh, they do work either way round so you don't have to worry about what side you're putting down sometimes it's you know it's a little bit of jiggery pokery to get it to work for each and every painting um, you can overlap them see that one look I've actually got a bit more room at the top so what I'll do is I'll move this one down further in fact if I remember because I put the other one going up that way I oh know I've got plenty of room um, I like to put them up just because then when I remove it um, you know I'm working on that size piece um, but you can overlap them if you want um, so I've got three big pieces and then I tend to put two going upwards I say sometimes I do overlap them just a little bit just to make sure that I'm not going to get any fluff or dust in the diamond painting so in this now I've got one that is the full size underneath I've got this that's just a little bit less because of the overhang so it's a little bit smaller square same with the top one and then I've got two little strips so where I start on this painting will probably depend on how much time I have um, if I'm just doing a little bit and don't have much time then I'll peel off this and do that small section um, whereas if I'm sitting down you know for the beginning of the evening and I'm likely to get quite a bit done then I'll probably start on one of the bigger sections and potentially move to the next one but they're reusable and I like them I can cut the top contact paper just like I did with the last one um, but these are quite cute so I keep using these um, so yeah that is another one or my last small one mini mini one kitted up um, in my little 28 containers I will put a link to what I can down below um, Fisker's trimmer just search for trimmer uh, or Fisker's trimmer because that's how you spell Fisker's just in case you're wondering uh, I bought this absolutely years ago um, so I don't want to link to a company that sells them if I don't know what that company's like for shipping them uh, but I've had that for years I've got the link to some of these containers uh, I have ordered these from a few different places so I've got a link to one of them um, and the Xyron sticker maker was a gift um, so you'll have to do a Google search for a Xyron sticker maker um, they do do them in all sorts of sizes but I find this one is absolute gold and is perfect for kitting up diamond paintings anyway I think that's enough rambling from me so thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon